Let's move on to the next question. A function f is defined by f of x equal to uh, this, right? For the values of x between 2 and 4. Okay, great to know. Now, part 1. We have to find an expression in terms of x for f prime. f prime is simply differentiating the value of f of x. So let's do that. f prime will be what? Will be uh, d by dx of this, that should be 3 first 2x minus 3 power 2 then that will be 0 so 3 2x minus 3 square now we have to show that f is an increasing function so we can see that since f prime of x is always going to be more than the value of 0 as you can see always positive right you can see that we can conclude that f is an increasing function. Now you may ask me, how do I know it is always going to be more than zero? But if you observe, very simple. For any values of x here, we have square. Now when you square something, you're always going to be positive. You can write since, since, we know that this, this square are always going to be more than zero. We understand that, or oh, this, right? We understand that it will always be in positive value. It will not, it will never be negative, right? That's the main idea behind this. That's why it will be an increasing function. But here, obviously, it will never be equal to zero because if you think for these values of x, this will never be zero because it is only zero when x equal to 1.5 and 1.5 is outside of this domain so it would only have to be more than zero right since because of that we will have to be an increasing function now part one part two now we have to find an expression in terms of x for f inverse and find the domain of f inverse so pretty easy one by one so in terms of x first f inverse we have to let y equal to f that will be 2x minus 3 cube minus 8. Simplify. Send this over here, you will have y plus 8 equal to 2x minus 3 cube. Now, 2x minus 3, that should be cube root of y plus 8. Now, 2x have to be 3 plus cube root of y plus 8. Finally, x have to be 3 plus y plus 8 divided by the value of 2. Okay, so great. Now we have x in terms of y, so finally, we conclude that f inverse of x, that will have to be 3 plus root 3 x plus 8 over the value of 2. And that will be your question, part 2, we have to find next the domain of f inverse. So to find the domain of f inverse, right, we can just look at these values. Right. So here we can look at that, or we can or we can look at the other way as well. We know it has to equal to range of f. This is this is always going to be true. The domain of f inverse will be the range of f. So let's have a look. How can you find the range of f? We have to look at the equation. So f of x is given to you by 2x minus 3, power 3, minus 8. For values of x between the values of 2 and the values of 4. Now, since it, since it is an increasing function, we can first find the minimum value and the maximum value. So f of 2 will be what? 2 times 2 is 4 minus 1 is 1. 1 cube minus 1 should be minus 7. Now f inverse of 4, that will be what? So 2 times 4, minus 3, power 3, minus 8. That will be 117. As you can see, the function of f of x is between those values. So the y value is between those two, right? So we conclude that the range will be y is between the value of minus 7 and 117. Now we have to use this to find the domain of f inverse of x. Now, 
Domain is defined by x value, so we just have to write, pretty easy, x between the values of minus 7 and 170. And that will be a domain of f inverse for the question in relation to functions.